Welcome to Aston Martin Mindset. My name is Alex Elaine and in this video, I wanna talk about some of the most important sales skills and characteristics to set yourself up for long-standing and long-term success. Just before we get into it, please be sure to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe to help us with the reach of these videos moving forward. Now, as a salesperson of, of 12 years and beyond, so what I often say is that 90% plus of this role is what goes on up here, it's your mindset. Because if you're able to build the right things up here and the right routine in your mind, you can really set yourself up for an enduring career. Whereas if your mindset isn't where it needs to be, you can be the most talented salesperson out there, you just won't be able to stay the course. So what are the, some of the things that you really wanna build early and often to make sure that you're set up for success? Now the main things are your characteristics based around your resiliency, your discipline, and your fortitude. Because sales careers are tough. You come into a month, you come into a quarter, you come into a year, you've got a number over your head and you're obligated to achieve that number. And no doubt at some point in your career you're gonna be behind your number, things are gonna be tough, now more than ever because we're in a recession and you've got to ask some hard questions of yourself when you're in those moments of are you going to be able to drive forward or are you going to rescind? So I spend most of my time building discipline, building resiliency, building mental fortitude, often studying the army, the marines, people like David Goggins, people that have overcome very significant things in their life, in their career and have been able to continue to march onwards. I can assure you if you can spend a lot of time there and then someone works with you to learn the core sales skills to help you move forward, you can really set yourself up for success. Now as a salesperson, what are some of the things that you really want to build again to set yourself up for long term success? First of all, it's being a great listener. We've got two ears and one, one mouth for a reason and the best sellers out there are able to sit in meetings, ingest information and ask really thoughtful questions. But to ask thoughtful questions, it starts with being a great active listener. You've got to practice being able to sit in a room, absorb information, take great notes and then ask great questions. And that feeds on to that second point which is being great at asking questions. And that comes from practice. You've got to role play. You've got to have a point of view around where do I want to take this meetings and what type of questions are going to help me to be able to get the outcomes and the outputs that I want to get from this meeting. So it comes back to preparation. Preparation helps you to ask great questions and it also helps you to be a great listener. One of the other great skills as a salesperson is to be able to understand when you need to be able to hold a great stake in the ground with the customer and when you need to be able to give a little bit more leverage in essence in the conversation. So it's really understanding that paradigm of where do I have leverage, when do I have less leverage, when do I need to push and when do I need to pull. This really comes with experience, right? And what I'm talking about is when you're in a customer meeting and the customer asks you for a discount, when is the moment that you should be thinking about that versus when is the moment that you can put a harder stake in the ground? And this is where you have to build your ability to work out how much perceived value you've built in a customer's mind for this particular deal. The higher your perceived value, the more leverage you have in a deal. The less your perceived value, the less leverage you have in a deal. This is where we start to get a little bit more advanced and it really often takes time and experience and going through many different sales cycles for you to really start to figure that out. But I still want to put it out there because it helps you start to understand some of the core fundamentals, the things I mentioned earlier in this video, and then some of the ways you can start to build advanced skills, advanced techniques, an advanced way of thinking about becoming a great software salesperson. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.